Okay, so first of all, we we make one project. One first of all, we make one package. Okay, let's first of all let's see. Okay, this is the this is the code that actually in the previous day I showed to you. <laughs> First of all, we have to make one project that is called JDBC project. Inside that project, I have to make one package. That package name is com JDBC model. And inside one model, inside com JDBC, this is, you can give your connection. I give your model, but you can give your connection com slash com underscore JDBC underscore connection. Then inside that package, you just give database connection. Inside you give database connection on Java and employee service that you don't have to create. Just uh, first of all, today we just uh, create database connection on Java. And <clears throat> the connection Java. And after that, we have to create, we have to first of all, you have to install the MySQL work, workbench, the data, that database software. Hmm. Their software. And you have to make, uh, we have to make the password. So first of all, you have to install and then it will guide you how to set the password. You can change the password from here, go to administration. This is the schemas. Schemas means what? Schemas means, suppose, this is the MySQL workbench and this is, there are two sections. One is administration and one is schemas. And in these schemas, what you can see, suppose I am working right now the iterate medical solutions. Okay, right now I am working in this project. So I can just close this. And I am coming into that that database. I am coming into that project database. So what is my project name? My project name is, is my database name is new database. So I come into the new database. Why is my this? This is the new database. You have to select this. Select this schema new database and inside that database, database means schema, nothing else. And inside the database, we just create one table and it's called employee. Mm -hmm. and, in, and in, inside the employee, if you select the rows, then it will give you the tables. And, and that is the MySQL and it MySQL advantage. And if you want to change the password and you go to administration, users and privilege that option, and you can uh, go to account limits login. Yeah, it is called root. Root is the your standard your standard username always. Root is your standard username. Root and this is your localhost and this is your password. Type a password to reset it. This is your password and this is the localhost. And this is the your confirm password. You just, uh, whatever the password you give, you have to give that password also here. And you have to apply this. So in that matter, uh, in that case, you can <coughs> change the password. And this is the one, okay, how to create the table? I am coming later. First of all, we have to understand the code. Then we have to understand how to create the table. Okay, so JDBC first of all. So what is JDBC? JDBC means Java Database Connectivity. Okay, first of all, I open the jam.
yeah now we that now we will learn that connectivity how to connect the data to the back end java and back end java and the database Java database connectivity that is called JDBC. And JDBC, what is our thing? The main thing is requirement is Java. The main requirement is Java. And then next, we have we need the database. The database is MySQL database. MySQL DB. It is called JDBC, Java and MySQL database. That, that connectivity, connect between Java language and MySQL database. So the data, whatever the data I have said here, stored here, that come into the, here, that come in, that come in, in the console, come in here. That is our <coughs> main task for today. Yeah, first of all, we have to make okay in this code. You just see in this code here, there is four steps actually. There is four steps. Okay, if I do this, yeah. First of all, this is the step number one, loading the JDBC driver. Yeah. Then the step number two, connection the DBMS with Java. That is the connect, that is the connection code. So I make the four steps of that the full code. Loading the JDBC driver, the first step. Second step is what? Second step is connect the DBMS with Java. That connects your database to Java. Third is what? Third is create and executing the statement. Whatever the statement, whatever the query you write, this is, this is the statement. Whatever, what type of data you need to see here, you need to see in the console, you write that statement. That's why the process name of the Step name is process and returning data by DBMS. Processing and returning data. No, no, create and executing the statement. This is the step. Create and executing the statement. That is, that is step number three. That is actually called step three. Step three. This is step two. This is step one. This is step one loading the JDBC driver. These four steps are very important. Second step is our second step is connecting the DBMS with Java. Third step is creating and executing the statement. Creating and executing the statement. Now come the fourth step. In this step four, processing and return the data by DBMS. So after the in the moment I create and executing the statement, the DBMS what DBMS do DBMS whatever the data we stored in the DBMS that come into the that will be processing first the data then return the data return the data means what the data will come here. After that, step five. Basically, fifth step, step five, that is called you close the connection. If you don't close the connection, then connects will automatically run. So that is the issue. So we have to close the connection. That's why the last step is close the connection. So there is five step actually. In the interview actually, 
ask you what are the five steps for DBMS? How do you connect? That is the main question. There is only one question, how you connect the, data, uh, the database and the Java. There are five steps. First of all, loading the TV, JDBC driver. JDBC means there are so many drivers. One is JDBC driver, one is ODBC driver. <clears throat> there are so many drivers, ODBC driver, JDBC driver, but we are here, the JDBC driver. Loading the JDBC driver is your step one, or first step. Then next, connect, connecting, connection, the DBMS with Java. After that, creating and executing the statement, step three. Step four, processing and returning data by DBMS. And after that, <clears throat> last step, close the connection. So that, that thing I will just do here. That thing I will just do here. I'm not writing the steps here, but here I am writing the steps. Okay, we don't go through this connection code because this connection code is for the CRUD application, but we don't, today we don't go through the CRUD application. We just go through, just want to check the data is here, here the data is coming or not. In the console, the data is coming or not. That we want to see today. Okay, I'm just uh, giving you that code for the better understanding. First of all, I have to take the class. Suppose you just normally take the class database connection demo inside that package, inside that model package. After that, you know the main method. And then, first of all, let's start the first step, loading the JDBC driver. Inside the JDBC driver, just see for the connection purpose, I tell you that we have to use the try and catch block. We have to use try and catch block. Okay, so inside the try block, what we have written, okay, each and every line you have to understand. Inside the try block, the line number to enter class dot font name, com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver. That is my jdbc driver. The name of my jdbc driver is this com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver. If you if you uh, the in the previous versions of the connectivity, people write com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. But nowadays, it, uh, if you just remove the cj, it will give you error. com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver. It is this is the today's driver name. Class dot font name. <coughs> font name is the actually name. See. If you open the declaration from here, this is the one type of method public static class font name string class name. So font name is the one type of method. If you see open the declaration and if you any this shown here, this is one type of method class dot font name, and then you just write your driver name inside the <coughs> in what it comes after that what is the next line next line is string url because to jdbc mysql localhost 306 new database okay this is the important line string url url means what url means suppose your your system is running your system is running on a part uh, suppose my if i give anything if i give any browser then it will so suppose if i open Marvin repository, repository. It it have to give one URL. Every website have one URL, right? So that URL, this is the this is the URL. JDBC colon mysql colon double slash localhost colon three three zero six colon new database. What is my this is the my database name? This is my database name. Whatever the database name you set here, you have to give them. This is the database name, new database. Other, otherwise, it will not connect. 
local was 3306 and 3306 is my MySQL port number, MySQL workbench port number, MySQL port number. This, this is a very important question. That what is the MySQL port number? Then you, you have to you need to tell you need to tell the engineer that 3306 can um, MySQL port number. In the MySQL port number is 3306. Okay, after that, this is the this is the line. This is the URL line. After that, I come to the user. This is this URL is taken as a variable. After that, I am it is this is data type and this is variable. String user equals to root. This is your by default root. Actually, this is if you see, see, this is the root. Local was 3306 and this is the root. local instance one spell 80. This is the one type of connection. If you open the connection, see the tables and all. All the tables, these or this, these are the, all the data. Doctors click away, A to Z medical solutions, employee management system, Java database, PCS Cloud Labs. All, all the databases are under under one connectivity that is called uh, local host TT are under the root username. These all the databases. This is the root string user equals to root. This is the username, and we have to give the password. So my password is this, my name. You can set your own password. That is not the issue, but you have to give the password is right. Whatever the password you set here. In the MySQL logbook, you have to give the password here. Otherwise, if the password is mismatched, then it will be a problem. Okay, so this is the URL is my one variable, user is the second variable, and password is third variable. So all the variables are there. And my data type is string. String is my data type because all, all of the taken as a string. Okay, so this is the First step. This four line is the first step. Loading the JDBC driver. This is the step one. In and my trial lock is running actually. My trial lock is running. Okay, now come to the second step. The second step is connection the DBMS with Java. Now I have to connect the DBMS to the Java. I have taken one variable that is con. Con equals to driver manager dot get connection and i have to write the three variables url user and password okay what is driver manager just to open the discussion driver manager is one kind of class public class driver manager is one type of class and you go don't go through this type depth because right now you don't have to do this just know that what is driver manager driver manager is a one type of driver class one type of driver class is driver manager Java manager dot get connection URL user and password get connection. What is get connection? Get connection is one type of method that is called connection method that is called get connection. We have to connect the data that is called get connection. Okay, con equals to driver manager dot get connection and inside that method there is the parameter based method and inside the method there are the variable will be passed URL user and password. That three variable already I have taken. After that, I have taken one if else loop, conditional loop. If con if con equals to null, if the con, con means connection, if the connection is null, then system then my connection is established. See in the in the console, if the connection is perfect, then it is shown the connection is established. But after if the connection is not established, it will show not connected to DB. That it is the same. If it is connection, connection established or connection is not established. If the connection is not, so that's why I am taking connection con equals to now. Then it's called one object con RS. So it is called three objects. Connection con equals to null, reserve set RS equals to null, and statement is equals to null. So it's con RS and ST, these are these are the three objects. Already I have taken as a null. These three lines. That's why con if con is null, then Connection established, not connected with DB. 
So uh, it is the just for checking purpose. My DBM is actually connected on it. Okay, so this this step is this step is called connection. The database with Java. <clears throat> now come to the step three. Step three is what? Step three is create and executing the statement. Okay, then I have to what type of data I need in the statement? What data I need? I need one data. I need just the employee ID one, or I need one, or I need the two employee IDs, or I need uh, four employee IDs. What type of data we want? Or I need all the data, all the data. We need all the data. So, so that query we have to run. That, let's call MySQL query. String SQL queries. SQL query is one type of variable. And select start from employee query MPID equals to three. Okay, that, that particular one data I need to come. Select start from employee. Okay, in, 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 in that code, I am just giving you this. Or another, we can write. It will select start from details. This is, this is the another uh, database name. This is the table name actually. So let's start from table. So let's start from employee. So this, this, this is another statement and this is the another statement. So what are the type of data we need to come? Then it will come here. <clears throat> then next line is rs equal to st dot execute statement query, SQL query. So this variable we have passed this variable execute we have to execute the query this is this query is processed now we have to execute the query rs rs means result set result set rs equals to null i have already taken so rs equal to st st means statement object st dot execute query sql query that variable i have to pass Okay, I am forgetting this line, right? Yeah, Shobik, I am just forgetting this line, right? Shobik, you there? Hi, uh, sir. I am just forgetting this okay. line, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, this is the step three actually. Create and execute the statement. ST equals to con dot create statement. ST means statement. Statement and this is a statement object. Statement ST equals to none. So ST equals to con dot create statement. Create statement is one type of method. If you see the declaration, statement, create statement, throws SQL exception. This create statement is a one type of method. Is case statement for creating the statement we have to use this method that is called case statement this is called create the statement then we have to process and execute the statement that's why rs equal to st dot execute query sql query <clears throat> after that i have to take in the while loop because actually i am to take in also try and catch i don't need to create the while loop but here actually i am creating this is the actually card application that's why I'm taking the while loop because while loop rs dot next pindelen employee id department and salary so this this is the rs dot get string employee ID department and salary so this is the all the data i need to come all the data i need to come so that's why i am taking the while loop and then 
and this is the try block end, and we have starting the catch block. We are starting the catch block, catch block exception E that you already know. The exception and message will be pinned. One yeah. message will be pinned. And last is step five. That is called close the connection. Last is step five, that is called close the connection. And finally, try block. That, that, that C. Here I have taken on finally block. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the connection should be closed. Otherwise, if the catch block also cannot handle the exception, then finally block always close the connection. So the one is important usage of the finally block that I have told you. Close the connection. In the inside the finally block, I again I do one try block. Con dot close. HC dot close. And RS dot close. Con dot close, HC dot close. RS. What about the objects and statements I have? Taken all we need to close object dot method object dot method object dot method the same thing just we have done in Java. Mm -hmm. oh. Close is the one type of method. See void close. This is the one type of method. What is close method? What is the function of the close method? Close method can close the connection. For closing the connection, we need to use close method. Con dot close, R is dot close, not is dot close. After that, take in one catch block and then E dot print statement. Print statement means we have to this. Okay, if you just see the declaration. <clears throat> see, this is the one type of method. Print status. What type of error? The explanation, if you want the explanation of that error, then we have to write this method, print status. So E dot spring status. Okay, now the all the five steps are completed. So this this I this example I have taken on the card application the database connection demo, but this is the simple connection database connection that we have, we are doing. Today. We are not doing this demo connection. We are doing just database connection. E dot spring tactics and result and return form. We are actually we are not closing here also. We actually, here we will not yeah. closing the connection. Then we have to return the connection. Public connection, DB connection. And that method we have to return something. That's a return con. Okay. Now I need to run this. My data is also ready. I need to run the program. See. <laughs> Connection is established. Employee ID 3, department, and salary will be 40. Okay, I go to see. This is the, this row it will take in. Why? Because I am given this to it. Yes, I have given that select star from employee where employee equals to three. Just understand that query select star from employee. Employee is my table name. Select star from table name where where employee equals to three. So where employee is equal to three, here is employee equals to three. So it will take in that employee QT and the department and my salary is this. So that's why accordingly connection is established and okay if I change this suppose suppose I need automation tester 
I need yeah. automation tester in employee file. Give file, save and run again. See, automation tester will come. That is the connectivity actually. Whatever the data you have set here in the database, the data must come here. That is the connectivity. That is the main learning purpose. And whatever the details, it will show you. Okay, now, if I want to need the whole, the all the users, all yeah, the yeah, employees. Yeah. yeah. Now, just remove this. Select start from employee. That is the query. Select start from table name. Select start from employee. The, all the all the data will come. One employee one, employee two, employee three, four, five and six. The six employees. The six employees will come. You can add also. You can add also on employee. Just add one number seven. You can write here the department is. Uh, Sales. Suppose I am given sales. And suppose I am given this. Okay, now the duplicate value actually. Then apply, apply, finish. Again, just rephrase this. Now again run the program. Let's see the employee seven is added or not. Yeah, employee seven is the sales department employee is added. Yeah, added in my database. Okay, that means my connection is fine. That is the actual understanding. Okay, understand. Yes. Okay, <clears throat> so big now share your screen and okay, now start the uh, code and connectivity. Okay, first of all, first of all, install the MySQL workbench. Sorry, it is uh, disabled. Hmm. Yeah, now, now do. Uh, workbench, I think I have it. Uh, I don't think I have the server. Yeah, we have to add the connection. Mm. Uh, what should do with the connection? Anything or form dot something? No, no, anything you can connection and local host you can give. Username to yeah, that will, that will be fine. That is in default. Yeah. And about password, uh, should I put in the vault? Yeah, you can give password or you can. I think the yeah, you default can... is root, right? Mm, yeah, default is root. Just mm, get OK. Yeah, your one thing is added. Now go through this. Now click on this connection. Go through the uh, schemas. Schema, right. Uh, yes, sir, I'm on the schema. Yeah. yeah, now you have to make that uh, one database. This one? 
created no no that no connection is too fast yeah i think i have to install the server also yeah yeah that is the server you have to install yeah yeah Actually, when the SQL uh, workbench is uh, installing, then at, I think that option is shown. No, also. actually, I dip, uh, I installed the workbench differently. I mean, I didn't got the option to install server. Okay. Master server. Mm. You just yeah, do this. My skill share. The router is no router don't need. And uh, documentation. Uh, no documentation. Uh, no need, right? Yeah, yeah, no need. This only two, right? Server and server. Yeah, yeah, server and server. Servers and already we have all means. Okay. Yeah, easy. Actually, I installed the workbench totally differently, not to this process. So it is only this. Mm. Okay, so you just install workbench separately. Okay. So just I am coming in two minutes.
Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah that sale will uh, little, take a little bit time. I think the server is on, so it should run it. Let it installing, then restart. I think that process, that process will end. Next. Mm -hmm. Next. Next. Uh, change anything here? Yeah. Just go to config type. Config type. Config type, yeah. Just that drop down. Server computer, computer, server computer, computer and many other applications. No, no, just scholar, scholar. No, the first one, the first one, little. Developer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you go to yes. next. Yeah, go to next. Use strong encryption authentication. Okay. Yeah, give your password here. Yeah, it doesn't depend, right? This medium and mm -hmm. uh, I'm saying that uh, it is not so important. Give a uh, little bit long, longer. I think the password cannot take in. Yeah. Just give just give your name, uh, yeah. name and title. Name and then space. Name and then space your title. Space will also work. Yeah, space need name. Just you write your name. Name and then space, then title. Okay. I'm giving underscore, it's the same thing. I think this yeah, space is you. not working. Actually. It's showing weak. Uh, let's just okay. add the user. Okay, no, don't add to use that. You just go to the next. Hmm. Okay, that is the fine. That is fine. Next. This one. Okay. Yes, next. Yeah, execute. Uh, should I copy this server? This one with it? No, no, you can finish. Oh, well, just uh, yeah, we just can cross this. Yeah, three things will add. Yeah, okay. Now delete this again. Restart this, restart the whole MySQL language. No, no, just uh, delete the whole window. Yeah. 
Now see the object is connected. Okay, now you have to make one schema. Schema means database. You have to make one database. Just go to here. Yeah, go there. Name, give the name. Connection database, whatever you write. No, not schema. Schema means database. Write the connection database. Apply. Underscore one. Hmm. Okay. Now create that table inside that. Yeah. Right click on it and create table. Yeah. Now create the table. Apply it. No. 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 You have to create the table. Watch. Oh, what is this and PN and all? Yeah, that is that is the thing. How to create? First of all, ID new has to. Okay, just uh, give me the controls. Okay, just now. Okay, just If you click here, there is the first column. What is the first column name? Uh, column name will... Account name, account number. No, first is first is name. Actually, we have to make it sequentially. Okay, you, okay, you just write here. You just write. I am give up the control. And I need to see what is the my database name. Yeah, first of all, give EMP ID. Uh, sir, you uh, employee ID. EM, yeah, EMP ID. No, yeah, all small, not capital. Actually, oh, small. the column, uh, the column will be small. Hmm. It will be integer, and yeah, it will yeah. be primary key. PK means primary key. Yeah. And NN, what is NN? NN means not null. Okay. UQ means unique and B means binary. And AI means auto increment. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, auto, yeah, it will yeah. be auto incremented. And that is the main thing. PK, NN, UQ, B, and AI. So first, first employee, we should make PK and NN. Okay, go to the next column. Create next column. Sir, we are department. SQL, right? Hmm, this is SQL. SQL so that's more selling, right? Yeah, yeah, SQL. SQL letters. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. okay so Java has been done, right? Java, everything has done, right? Yeah, yeah, Java has done. Now you're starting SQL, right? Yeah, now I'm creating the SQL. Okay, 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 sir. This one should be, uh, I think, text, right? Or, or maybe, or it is a um, string. String, uh, there is no option for string. Barker, barker, barker. Okay, barker. Barker is string. Just give, for, uh, right here, 45. Hmm. Uh, 45 yeah. is for the size, right? 45 means age is the size. Okay. And don't give anything. Don't give. <laughs> no, no. Give 45, but don't click any. Don't uh, oh. check anything. Oh. And and the department D will be small. Okay.
डॉक्टर का सुख Now give uh, salary. Sure. And salary will be long. Long or you can give it here. No, just you have to select this. Don't type. Okay, just wait. I am just checking what I am given. Okay. Okay, just give three things, Barker. No need to complicate this. Okay, uh, uh, long this long block. Yes, salary, long... salary, salary also it will be Barker. Employee also Barker and department also Barker. Okay. That is actually not issue. If you if you give the wrong data type, that will not be issue. Okay. Well, let it be interest. No, you just keep uh, no. Here, if you give uh, Barker, no, no, it will be Barker. Oh, it is not changing. So... No, no, Barker forty five. Oh, it cannot be blank. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Now apply in the, in the right here. Apply and finish. Okay, now go to your main page. Go to tables and select rows. Table, right click, see select rows. Select rows. Select rows. There is create table, create table like so no, no, table is under the and what is the your table name? That then go to that yeah. and right click. Oh, select rows. See that, uh, that yeah, now you give put one by one value. Yeah, uh, I'm going to give it three points. Yeah. Should I give two? Okay. Okay, now apply. Apply and finish. Now, here our work is end. Okay. Now we have to do the coding. First of all, make one project, normal project, Java project. New class. Mm, yeah, new class. Just write here database connection or connection dot java button. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now 
I am giving you the code and you have to edit that code into according to your way. I mean that URL password, that, that, that thing will be changed. Okay, just wait, I am giving you the code. Okay, actually, this is a very long code, that's why it's not going. Okay. I have to give it separately. Yeah, that is the code. Okay, here connect. Yeah, yeah, you have to import this. Yeah, import yeah. this. The first one, the first one, Java to test. Hmm. Uh, can we just import with star? And everything you can do this also. Yeah, driver manager import. Yeah. Now change. Uh, okay. Now change change your database name, user, and password. Uh, database name. I think everything is right. Only this one. Copy and paste there. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Next up, one more plugin. Okay. Yeah, now you have to give yeah, the this one. three columns. Yeah. The exactly three columns you have to give. Okay. But uh, this one, uh, sir, how did you name that? Uh, I mean, the table employee. I mean, this time I didn't name anything. Okay. This one is a table, okay. The right? table name, right? yeah, yeah. New table actually just uh, go to the that middle that middle middle thing settings. No, no, that new table settings. This one, this one. Yes. Yeah, the table name that will get. Now apply.
One, uh, I think it should run. Yeah, just, just scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down. <laughs> yeah, in line number yeah, 53, 50 or 50, you have to change. Yeah, Okay, you have to say this now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one, I think, I have to see the other one. Oh, that's the DVC driver. Yeah, actually, it is your uh, driver name. Okay, string, then go to the string URL, that thing. Go to the string URL. String URL. The connection. That it uh, will connection data which is right there. Eh? Hey, yes. Uh, I mean you are saying in this eclipse or this one? Hmm? Uh I mean, which one you are using? This my school workbench or in this Eclipse site? Uh, in the Eclipse connection, that that connection data, that database name and the uh, my school database name will be same. Just check once. Connection database. Yeah, it's the same. And That's password cool. and password will be same, right? The password is also the same that I entered. Mm -hmm. Username, username I didn't change, right? It's no, username change. by default it is root, so that is not the issue. Uh, null pointer cannot invoke this proof method because pawn is null. Yeah, actually, pawn is null. That's right. Yes. Okay, it is not getting any value. Hmm? I have seen that it is not getting any value. It's next track. Okay, and uh, restart this one. Which one? Uh, this is just good. Mm -hmm. My square to a one twenty seven. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Change the local host to this one. I think it may work. Local host. Uh, this one twenty seven dot zero dot one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can change it here. Oh, I think that is not the issue. We just let me start. Okay, you get another connection. Another uh, connection. Uh, this database. Yeah, that uh, your the, your first home page. Go to first home page. Yeah, make one another connection. Yeah, connection names. Yeah, give uh, local host service. Yeah. Oh, got it, got it. No, I thought the name was. Mm -hmm. Actually, I given this in the capital, the first letter. Let me try it again. Can I just copy the table from one database to another? You just click, uh, see, click clear, that is better. Yeah. On. So should I create another schema or this one? That way. Oh, that connection data is already there. Yes. Okay. We select this. Yeah, now run this to the code again. It's called my space CVG or GTC to drive. The drive in the driver can now connection at close because con is now. Yeah. Line number 73. Go to line number 73. Not close. Okay, just comment that line. Okay, now seven. Test is not. The data is not entering this. Okay, hey, that's uh, what is the statement? ST equals to con dot create statement. That line. What is that line? Yes, sir. This one. Dot case statement. It is employee one or employee? 
The code is fine, yeah. Mm -hmm. but... Please remove the e-dot screen tactics. Okay, just do it one minute. Yeah, just remove the screen tactics. Uh, which one, sir? The screen tactics that method in last line. This one? No, 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 that last line, last line. Scroll down, last. Line number 77. Comment it, comment it. Tactics. Hmm. Now run. Save and run. That message will come. Come not my space media reduce it on my heart. That actually connection step is also not showing actually. Yeah, connection. Actually, come. Okay, just remove the CJ. Just remove CJ. In line, you scroll up in line number 20. Re no, no, no. Remove CJ. Yeah. Now save and run. That message will come. I don't understand why that message will come. Catch block. Uh, actually, my you, you have any other server is running in your uh, system? Uh, no, I just installed it. I just tried to close the previous one. No, uh, other than MySQL server. No, I think don't possibly. Just let me check the task. Mm -hmm. So it's too low. It just... Mm. Okay, I can see my uh, actually I can see my code. Let me see if I give you any any mistake. Okay. Just okay. stop screen sharing. Am I giving missing something or not? Just okay, that four will be imported. Driver manager statement result set and connection. Oh, yeah, the data is connection demo and that three null. Then try this is the driver, URL, user, and password. After that, conical driver manager dot get connection. Get connection, user, URL, password. Mm -hmm. Then if statement, if connection is null, the connection is established, otherwise, not connect. Then the state uh, and executing the statement is the con, con dot get statement. Yes. String then string SQL query select star from imply. Then after uh, that while loop. After RS equal to ST dot execute query SQL query. Uh, just let me check this Yeah. Okay. Now while RS dot next system dot println EMPID department salary, RS dot gets to EMPID department and salary. Yeah. Okay, and catch exception e, and then uh, message it will be print the message. After that, close. Yeah. 
finally block inside the finally block one try block is there and try block then close the queue objects and catch exception hmm. try con.close h.close rs.close then catch exception e and then it has been tactics it's the problem okay if i run in this yeah same code i think that is not uh, that that i will that uh, class i will create for the the card application purpose but i have created this database connection demo that class for to, today's purpose for the just for the just uh, just the connectivity purpose hmm. and that uh, man, uh, manage employee data or the employee service down layer employee view that three classes will for the cloud application dating how to delete the data how to in, insert the data yeah, insert that is that is the another thing but here connection them yeah that is uh, let me do one thing let me just restart the whole thing i think i think your mysql server is not running properly that's why it will not connect yeah, actually can you just open the, the mysql server i think it, i think i think it is the Thing that you just right now install sale and server and you previously installed mm -hmm. one that is the i think that is the problem so i yes. just say, okay uninstall the three again uninstall these three things again the sale server and workbench oh. uninstall again and then again install with the together actually these three things yeah, yeah, yeah. otherwise actually it has no solution yeah that. that's right I mean, the errors are also not so. Mm -hmm. Okay, now save. Actually, this JDBC has no other solution. In in Java okay. program is what in Java program we can error then we can fix the errors. Yeah, yeah. But here if the mysql server is not connect, then it will be very hectic. There is no way. Mm, there is no way actually. <clears throat> when actually I, I I remember when we learn the these things. Yeah. I learn these things. Uh, one of my one of my friend batch. One of my friend actually, he has also same issue. It was not running. Yeah, it's not running actually. So after that, he will again restart, again restart, again uninstall. Then actually, it is last. It is running. So actually, it has no other solution. That is the main problem. Okay, let me just uninstall it. Yeah, from the control panel, fully delete and again install this from yeah. the from the website. Sir, I will be back in just two minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah.
हेलो हेलो यस सर आई थिंक सर देयर इंस्टॉल देयर इज द इंस्टॉल फॉर कनेक्टेड जे माय स्कूल कनेक्टेड जे यस एंड ओके लेट मी चेक एंड hello uh, shobhi yeah yeah yes sir okay <clears throat> you have to just uh, you have to add one jar file that i totally forget to oh, tell oh, you oh. Hmm. that's why it is okay just okay, again reinstall it then go to the jar file should i should i reinstall this server and workbench or just should i install the other you you only uninstall that yeah i uninstalled that uh, I mean, there was three things, right? Server, workbench, and other. Server, workbench, and shell. Yeah, the shell I just installed. Hmm. So should I just install the shell right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, okay. Don't no need to do things again. Of course. Yeah, that actually that for the connectivity one jar file you need to nicely connect the jar. We go to the uh, go to our browser and just download uh, my skill jar. Right? Let's see. Type connector J. Yeah, that's it. Just uh, write connector J. Connector J. Oh, connector J. Platform independent. One last one. Last one. Last one. The G file. Just a download here. Yeah. yeah, that. Uh, do we have to copy it somewhere? No, no. The first of all, extract this. Go to your folder and extract this. Uh, the MySQL folder. No, no. That uh, your download folder. That will be download in your download folder. Right? Yeah, in a download folder, just see. Then you extract the file. No, no, not here. You go to the MySQL connector J.zip file. That zip file. Yeah, I'm just extracting the zip file. Hmm. This one, right? Yeah, yeah, this one. That one. Yeah. Connector jar. That that thing. That thing. That executable jar file. You have to add. And just go to the project properties, the JDBC project property. Go to Eclipse. 
No, 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 not there, not there. Get. Get easy to get. Uh, this one. Hmm. Oh, this one properties. Yeah, these one properties. Java build path. Java build up. Build path. Get build path. Yeah. In libraries. In libraries. Libraries, libraries. Yeah. yeah, class path. Select class path. Add external jar. And select that jar file. Oh, just, just remove this again. That file you need to select. Apply, right? Apply MPS. Yeah. Now, should it Yeah. Yeah. New driver class. Oh, this one, CJ. CJ driver. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that uh, right CJ. That is the old version, old driver, actually. Mm. Right CJ. That's fine. Okay, Punam Shubhasmita, uh, have you connect? Have you installed? Have you installed the MySQL Workbench? Yes, sir. I have already installed MySQL. MySQL Workbench and server and shell already installed? Yeah, yes. Okay, Shubhasmita. Yes, sir. You installed the three things uh, that uh, Workbench, SQL, and server? Yes, sir. Okay. okay, and you don't connect, right? You connect and you create database. Sir. Yeah, tell me. Uh, you're saying it to me or no no that uh Shubhashmita and Punam. Yeah, Punam, can uh, you uh, create the database? No, sir. I'm not creating the database, I am studying also. Okay, okay. So, okay. So you study in between you study and create the database. If any problem, okay. then we will see the next. Next class. Yeah, next session we will see. Okay. Okay, and just just add the jar file. Okay. Okay. So today is up to this. The next day, if you uh, have any problem, then we'll see. And then next day, we will start. Next day, we'll start mm -hmm. Angular. <laughs> next day, we'll start Angular or let's see what is the plan. Yeah, that is adding and getting it. Okay, that, uh, okay, that uh, this thing, that uh, yeah. Prata application thing. Okay, that kind of application we will do, and if and Shubham Punish Punam Shubhasmita and do the connection and see so the one next. question you are asking. Hmm. Uh, Advanced Java is not uh, studying. The JDBC is is from Advanced Java. Okay. JDBC is from Advanced Java, and there is one question is called, and there is one another question is called thread, but the thread hmm. is actually you can uh, you can read for the knowledge purposes but actually the thread is not used mandatory. in the mandatory not means you can read for your knowledge purpose no, okay. but you can but in the real life project the thread there is not is not, not, not much use actually use but not much 
Okay. Okay. Tomorrow we'll discuss about, about uh, Angular, right? Tomorrow we'll discuss about Angular. Um, let's see that. Okay. First of all, let's finish the CRUD application. After okay. That, we'll finish that, uh, because Angular is the another technology. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, then uh, ending the session. Yeah, so we just one uh, thing. Yeah. The database connection demo that class, you just create that and paste in the WhatsApp. Okay. Mm -hmm. So please recording also send it. Mm -hmm. And the previous session recording mm -hmm. also also uh, I'm just already. I'm just copying and pasting. Okay. Mm -hmm. No need to yeah, no need to create.